Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Nube. I'm here just to give a brief uh, update on the e-passport application process or the application center that I spoke about a few weeks ago that it was going to be opened in Bait Bridge, especially to cater for South Africans, uh, for South African based uh, Zimbabweans rather. Uh, you would remember that I said that the government had promised in its bid to roll out the e-passport application process all over the districts in Zimbabwe, that it would also set up uh, a center in Bait Bridge to cater for Zimbabweans who are based in South Africa so that they don't have to travel all the way to Arare, Bulawayo and Gwanda for their applications. So what has happened now is that uh, a center has been set up in Bait Bridge as they promised and is it began its trial run just last week uh, and very soon the, the trial run is meant to uh, find out the teething problems that might, uh, might arise so that when they officially announce the center then everything else will be sorted out and all the limitations that would have been exposed will be addressed so as it is this is good news, especially for, to, for Zimbabweans who are based in South Africa because they now have to travel just half the distance that most of them would have traveled or a quarter of the distance that some of them would have traveled, considering that some Zimbabweans who are based in South Africa are based as far as, uh, I mean, come from as far as uh, Kariba, uh, Victoria Falls and other such areas. So instead of you going back all the way to your home district, you can now just travel to Bed Bridge, apply for your passport, uh, uh, just stay there for some days and then you can get it because we're told that they are now taking very very fast uh, to come out you don't have to wait for all those long uh, months and uh, on end to get your passport uh, and we believe that this is going to assist especially in documenting Zimbabweans that are based in South Africa so that you do not continue to break South African laws and you do not continue to travel illegally and having to go through some uh, life-threatening uh, experiences trying to cross the Limpopo River uh, into South Africa. And we also hope that because you know that you got 90 days a, a, a year for you to be in South Africa or to travel in and out of South Africa, we hope that this is going to alleviate the problems uh, of having to live in South Africa, running away from police or having to evade the law enforcement agents because you are illegal. We hope that Zimbabweans are going to take advantage of this and legally travel in and out of South Africa. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.